By default, when we zoom in the Blender viewport, the focal point for our zoom is the middle of the viewport space. This can lead to a lot of mouse dragging and panning in order to focus on the subject that we want to as we zoom. With zoom to mouse position enabled, instead we can use the mouse cursor to dictate the focal point of our zoom. In doing so, if we hover the mouse cursor over our default cube and then zoom, our cube is quickly brought to the centre of our screen. This generally saves a lot of mouse manoeuvring and leads to a better workflow while using Blender. Rotate Around Selection gives us a more functional way to rotate around the Blender environment. Rather than always rotating around the centre of our viewport, Rotate Around Selection when enabled allows us to have an object selected and use that as the pivot point for our rotation. This ensures that when we're working on a particular object, it always remains in the view as we rotate around it. If you have the memory to do so, increasing the number of steps in the undo history is something I recommend everyone do, because the one time you make that mistake and you need those undos, you'll thank yourself for it. The maximum that Blender allows at the moment is 64. For laptop users without a numpad, Emulate Numpad allows you to use the main 1 through 0 keys in substitution of the numpad. The primary reason for doing this is to be able to use 1, 3 and 7 to alternate between the front, side and plan elevation views, respectively. It also allows you to use 5 to toggle between orthographic and perspective views. As of Blender 2.7, Continuous Grab is now enabled by default. If you're using an older version of Blender and don't have this enabled, you've probably encountered the situation before where you've gone to scale, rotate or grab an object and then have been limited by the mouse reaching the edge of the screen before you've reached the desired transformation level you want. With Continuous Grab enabled, when we make a transformation, such as scale, as our mouse gets to the end of the screen, it returns to the opposite side, allowing us to reach the target transformation without having to stop and repeat the process.